Bleeding out in a boss car, shot in the back. What's up, guys? Long time no see. Um, just finished up a tournament at Car Lake. Was able to finish fourth for the, the second year in a row out there. Same time of year, but this tournament fished a lot different than this time last year. Uh, last year, I was able to fish a herring spawn, and I was really trying hard to find that in practice, but wasn't able to. Um, there was a shad spawn going on, but uh, I much prefer fishing the, the herring spawn because you can get on it and fish it all day long. The shad spawn, you have a, a limited opportunity to to capitalize on it so it can be sort of a hit and miss deal if you don't find the right stuff so in practice bite definitely got tougher after the morning bite first day of practice spent a bunch of time off the bank just because the conditions were kind of calling for it the water was starting to drop it was kind of slick calm uh, the week before the Bassmaster Open was there and the water was up real high in the bushes and this one was much warmer um, and the water had, was dropping. Didn't necessarily do great in practice, but I did catch a five pounder. That was really the only fish that I caught above two pounds, but gave me a little bit of confidence. I felt like I could probably catch some fish in the morning and uh, depending on the conditions, I could go out deep, I could fish shallow. Fish were kind of everywhere. Typical car lake, the way it's fishing lately, it's hard to catch fish over two pounds. And anything above three pounds is like a really, a really good fish. So starting the tournament, I ran to a spot that I'd caught some fish on in practice. Nothing big, but I checked it a couple times and uh, felt pretty confident that I could catch a, a few keepers on it.
gonna beat it, dude. I got my first keeper in the boat um, after missing a bunch, catching some stripers, catching a short, uh, and then finally got this just 14 and a half incher and stayed at that spot for quite a time after it missed a bunch. And I put on a little stinger treble, never got another bite on the fluke. So then started working some other points, um, ran up onto this one because it just looked good with the wind blowing on it and uh, was able to snag one little one off of this, this spot. Ended up working a few other shallow spots, fished some deep spots, and then finally it kind of got to where I caught my big one in practice. You know, we're, we're probably at about 10, 10 o'clock in the morning at this point, maybe maybe a little before that, maybe nine something, but only two little ones in the box and knew it was gonna be a grinder for the rest of the day to not even do well, but just to get my limit. So I kind of felt this one coming. I kind of look at the camera and smile there. <laughs> and uh, there it was.
fence right here. I, I lost the keeper, jumped off the keeper here, threw back in. My bait, my bait was fouled up. I could see them schooling. So I'm sitting on four fish and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna get an easy fifth one here. So I lose one, bait's messed up. I'm not seeing them school anymore. Cast back out there. And then I hook into this guy right here. Feels like a good one, but I, I knew pretty quick that it wasn't a bass. And it was a walleye. <laughs> that dude got in the net and twisted up so bad. My jerk bait had all those trebles in that net twisted up. And it took me like 20 minutes to, to just get the hooks and jerk bait out. Ended up taking a treble or a, a hook past the barb and one of my fingers and just pull that sucker out I was just so frustrated but I stuck on this spot for a little while like I said I felt like I could get my limit here and uh, I was sitting way out in the channel 60 feet of water and I could see the fish moving up and down on this break and I uh, would cast my little my little my swim bait up there and um, just watch it kind of come down the drop and uh, they would follow it and I would just kind of like alternate my retrieve so it was kind of moving like that and uh, they would eat it like right underneath the boat pretty much. Like I said in my head, I knew that this wasn't necessarily the, the winning the winning spot. This was more just a just a easy way to get some bites, and I had already had my five fish in the, the live well, so I needed to make an adjustment. So I think, what can I do to get a big bite? Well, conditions said, let's go shallow, let's throw a frog around some wood and some some grass, and try to get a big bite that way. Get 
see him. Oh, he's on the tree right there. Yeah, that stings right there watching that one. That was a that was a stud for sure. Um, and it sucks, you know, just like making a good decision like that and uh, not being able to capitalize on it, you know, like like I said, anything above two pounds at Car Lake is a good quality fish and who knows how big that one was. It wasn't it wasn't no fifteen inch, I know that. But I lost it. That's part of the game, throwing the frog. Um, and I started running a few more pockets, and I felt like, you know, that could be a deal, but I could just, you could see the sun starting to come back out. So I caught this small one, and like, I might have run one or two more pockets and sort of just gave up on this pattern. Like, uh, went back out to my, my deep stuff, and, and I just felt like, that gave me the best opportunity to catch multiple good quality fish and um, we made the right decision.
Yeah, so that was my last keeper of the day. Obviously, kind of uh, put me into the top five. And uh, that bass was good enough for big bass of the day. Uh, funny story, my dad uh, was leading big bass up until I weighed in. He had a five pound, five ounce. And you know what, I'll show you. I was both weighing in, but uh, he caught the second biggest bass of the day, but I was able to, to, to get it. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll try to post a couple more tournament videos here and there when I can, but uh, this was a fun one, and I uh, appreciate you guys. We'll see you that goes nine pounds, five ounces a day for you, sir. What's big fish? Right now, 4'11". You got one? All right, he's going to try one for Big Bass. Current Big Bass right now on that motor side is four pounds, 11 ounces. You got a good one there. You got five pounds, five ounces a day for that, Ron. Hold it up. Show it off to everybody watching. Ron Russo the third come in next to our Raleigh. He's on that motor side. He's got us a five bass limit today for us in his bag. His weight today. 14 pounds, 11 ounces. You're in third spot right now, Ron. Good job today. Five, five. You got one? All right, he's going to try one for Big Bass Kurt. Big Bass right now is five pounds, five ounces. You got a real good one there. How about five pounds, nine ounces a day for you, Ron? Hold that up. Show it off to everybody watching.